welcome to Tangling Along With Me. We are continuing on TanglePatterns.com and today it is this pattern right here. Let's open up the book and find a place for this one. So this one is uh, a round one. Uh, and I'm gonna use my Micron PN in black for this one. Uh, so we need a circle uh, or kind of an orb. Um, I might need my pencil here just to... I normally don't use the pencil, we don't do that in Sintangle, but when it's a big circle like this I like to um, make sure that it fits here where I want it. So I am just gonna pop it in right here behind everything else. So that's the start of it. And I'm gonna make kind of a tooth in there. And today I'm going to turn around my book because I'm making another tooth right here going behind the first one and out. Turn it again making a new one and going back out. And you can pop in as many of these as you have room for. Uh, I don't have that much space in this one. Um, let's make a smaller one right here. Like that. Turn the book right around. So now you can um, just go in and make everything here in the background black. Or you can go in and put in some orbs first. Uh, let me see, I can place some orbs here along the edge of these um, teeth. Or some of them. Let me do it on this one as well. If you have the room you can do it on all of those. Um, you can also go in and make a smaller um, aura line on some of these. There we go. Uh, but you can do almost everything you want to. You can also make lines and stuff like that. I'm going to color in the background black. And I'm just gonna take my time with this and relax in my hands, my fingers and I'm gonna enjoy each stroke that I'm making here. Maybe you have a, a Micron 08 or 10 and you can use that for coloring in instead. This way it will go a tiny bit faster than with the PN. But maybe you just like coloring in just like I do and then just take your time and color in the different parts. That we have <coughs> that we have here for the background. Sorry about that. This piece over here as well. And turn your book or your page around when you need it. 
so that your hand is lying comfortably in uh, on the paper. And the last spot over here. There we go. I like that. That's actually the pattern. I think I'm gonna make a small orbs here on uh, the circle, on the edge of the circle. Just going all the way around here and behind where it is hitting another pattern. Like here. I'm just letting it work behind. Just taking my time with these orbs. and cap it. I am going to take my white charcoal and I'm gonna pop in a tiny bit of white here in one of these uh, teeth using my touchy yarn to soften it out. And that was the one with the warps around so I'm just gonna do the same over here. But again, you can do exactly like you feel like. And let's go to the Blue Micron 01. Um, maybe color in this uh, tiny border around here. Just to get a little color in there. And I'm gonna do that on this one as well. There we go. Pop on the lid. And I'm going to take my graphite pen and I'm gonna make a shadow here where this one is going over the other one. Same right here, and on this side, just a nice small shadow, making it look like it's going over and under. And here at the bottom of my circle or orb, I am just going to make a nice shadow as well. Taking my touch yarn and softening out my shadow. Anyway, that was the pattern for today. I think I like it very much. It fits very nice right there. It's this one right here. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.